Howdy campers and welcome to your very first Bootstrap 4 tutorial. Alright, so what is Bootstrap? Bootstrap was created by the Twitter team a few years ago now and it is a front-end framework. So basically that means that if we use Bootstrap when we're creating websites, we can make use of a load of cool features it provides us with, such as a responsive grid system for our layouts, UI elements such as pop-ups and buttons, reusable classes to help style our content, and also we don't need to worry about browser compatibility. So no more, oops, is this gonna work in IE or Firefox? Nope, Bootstrap takes care of all of that for us, plus a lot of other things as well. So this is a quick demonstration on the Bootstrap 4 website, uh, just showing you how we can lay out content and use some of the different UI elements and I know this is a pretty crappy looking website. It's not gonna go down in the Web Design Hall of Fame, but it's just showing us the different elements and an example of how we can lay them out on the page. And the good thing about Bootstrap as well is that it's fully responsive. So as you can see, as we hit different breakpoints going down, then we see different versions or different layouts of the content. So Bootstrap takes care of all of that for us. Now in this tutorial series, I'm not gonna be creating this one. I'm gonna be doing one from scratch, which looks something like this. And again, this is not gonna go down in the Web Design Hall of Fame, but the point here is to show you the different classes, the different methods we can use in Bootstrap to get your content up and running quickly on a website, and then you can go from there. So we're gonna make something like this. And again, this is gonna be fully responsive, and we can achieve all of this using just HTML and some of the classes that Bootstrap provides us with. I don't need to write any CSS at all to get it looking like this, which is rather cool. Now, I know I've already created a Bootstrap 3 playlist, but this course is gonna focus on Bootstrap 4, which is now about to head into beta, and it promises us very few breaking changes from now on. So I thought this would be a good point to kind of refresh and create a course on the new version with all of its updates, which now include embracing Flexbox, grid improvements, updating media queries. It has now dropped IE9 support, woohoo! Switched to SAS and it's introduced a new component called cards, which replaces the old panels. So we're gonna get into all of this. Now, I'm not gonna cover everything that Bootstrap 4 has on offer because a lot of the syntax is exactly or extremely similar to Bootstrap 3. So what I'm gonna do is focus on the newer kind of features. So what we'll be covering is setting up with Bootstrap 4, looking at the Bootstrap reboot, uh, the new breakpoints, the flex grid upgrades, jumbotrons and cards, navs and navs bar, uh, nav bars, and finally tool tips as well. So if you're familiar with Bootstrap 3 already, that's awesome, just pick out the videos you need, but if you've not worked with Bootstrap much at all before, then don't worry, that's cool because I'll be working at a pace where you can probably keep up to. But I am assuming that you at least know HTML and CSS before you start this course. If not, check out my other courses, HTML for Beginners and CSS for Beginners. I'll leave those links down below. So a couple more things I wanna show you before we get started um, and download Bootstrap are the course files that I use on GitHub and also the text editor I'm gonna be using. So this is where the course files are held for this playlist. It's in a repo called Bootstrap for Playlist. I'm gonna leave this link down below. And if you come here and check out the different branches, you'll see I've got a different branch for each different lesson. So lesson eight is gonna to correspond to the code at the end of lesson eight. You can just look in the index file right here and copy the code, okay? Um, the text editor I'm gonna be using for this playlist is Atom. This is my favorite text editor at the minute. It's really cool, looks nice as well, and it's free. So go ahead and download that if you want. I'm also using a package in Atom called Atom Live Server, and this enables me to spin up a local server to run this index file on that we're gonna be working on. So uh, go ahead and download that if you want as well. All you have to do once it's installed is hit Control Shift 3, and that's gonna run up a local server on port 3000. Okay, so I'll be doing that in this tutorial series as well. So there we go, there's your express introduction to Bootstrap 4. Um, in the very next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how we can go ahead and download Bootstrap and use it in our projects. If you like these videos, please don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'm gonna see you in the very next one.